it's just become tradition to start with the fender as a, as a kind of little flower because I originally wanted to grow flowers in the fenders. But there's very sensible reasons why you shouldn't do that. Um, I just take all these kind of flowery petals and make circles with them and um, dilute that kind of um, pigment chain with some water so that it becomes a little bit um, clearer. Now you want to take your size 3 brush and you want to put it kind of on the side um, and don't worry if it has um, it's not completely loaded up and then get some extra water and um, drag some of that pigment along in um, two diagonal lines across the bow and then I add some extra water to dilute it and that's how I make the bow. Load up your paintbrush again with some green and um, I just randomly splash it here and here, up there, put some extra water on it to make um, the pigment go to the edge of the design. A smaller brush and do some horizontal lines to show the water the water lines in the the tan from earlier and then in a slightly different blue um, cobalt blue and then add some water into those Some of the black and um, this is where you want to mix around the black make sure it's not too dark draw your line down in a kind of arc to show the bottom of the boat and those um, sacrificial lines on the narrow boat just um, lightly sketch those in I'm just going to fill them up with some watercolor now I like to leave a few white splotches here and there on this part of the black. I think it adds a bit of um, interest and um, a little bit of depth.
just finishing off um, filling in the black, grab a slightly um, smaller paintbrush and with quite a steady hand measure out your door, kind of your door frames for, for your bow. Um, and then when they're still quite, when that line is really wet, um, get a bit of um, water on your paintbrush and pull some of that tan into the middle. Um, even though the blue on the bow should be dry and um, the dragonfly should be dry, just um, still try to avoid that kind of blue line because it does, it still tends to travel a little bit. Um, and you're just going to try to create two rectangles to show where the bow doors are. you want to mix um, the blue from your bow just with a, a splash of white um, instead of just diluting the blue um, I just find that that um, it adds a, a tiny bit of variation especially when you've got the blue dragonflies as well take your um, your kind of bulkhead lines down and or go across horizontally um, try to avoid the doors that you've just done even though it should be relatively dry um, because that brown will definitely bleed into the bulkhead which is a nice look sometimes but for this picture in particular I don't want it to happen um, I'm avoiding my dragonflies here as well um, as you can see I'm trying to be quite careful and um, and keep that quite light even though I'm, I'm probably come back in, the, in a little while and add um, a little bit of the depth of colour but that initial wash is just slightly lighter than your bow colour. While you've got um, different features from your narrowboat drying it's a really good time to add some extra features into the grass and here you can really have fun and um, splash it up and um, take the paintbrush, put it on its side and try not to draw with the paintbrush but try to pull that colour up as though the grass was growing up from the page. I like to pull some of that violet from the clouds into a kind of flower here and over here and um, and then I'll, I'll um, add some water into that pigment to make it um, a little bit more fluid. That's all the painting of the narrow boat. I've just got the outline left to do. So click on the next part if you want to see how we outline the narrow boat.